Hello. My hair is um, a year, sorry, three years and six months. And today I just wanted to come up here to talk about um, the difficulties I've gone through since I've maintained my hair. Um, you know, when you have fine hair like mine, it might not be thin in terms of uh, density, but my strands are quite thin. When you decide to self-maintain your hair, you are going to encounter quite a lot of problems. First of all, you will have to learn how to manage your single locks. I'm just saying that uh, all of them as a group, <laughs> they look very good, but individually, there are some issues you will come you will come uh, across. For example, what I'm having um, issues with is um, my thinning locks. Like you all say, no, sorry, like you know, I had a baby two years ago. And after that, I had postpartum shedding and I lost a lot of locks around my perimeter, which I have reattached over time. But um, the ones I did not lose, some of them, uh, I can tell that they suffer because they might be thin around the middle, okay? So those locks I've had to pamper. Um, I've used um, my children's hair, something I learned from another YouTuber whose name. I can't remember now, but I will at some point probably, or I'll um, break it down somewhere. <laughs> I've been keeping my kids' hair when they brush, it, they wash their hair and they brush it and all that. I just keep it, and this is the hair that I've been using to, to get my my locks on point. Just to I just add small amounts of hair to the thinning areas, using this tool I've showed you plenty of times. This is the um, Tulip number 16, 0 0.4 millimeters, which is a really good tool to to crochet your hair back. Uh, what I've realized is that when when I do my retightenings, which are every five to six weeks, it's very important for me to always take the hair around the lock because my hair grows outside the lock, unfortunately. So it's very important for me to initially twist those, twist that hair, you know, to the lock like that, like so, yeah, and then retight it. And after finishing with the retightening. I need to go back to the same log and if there's any hair still around, I just need to twist it. And most of the times I need to use this tool for all that hair to go within the log again. Otherwise they'll, they will start weakening. Um, that's a problem that I have because I have, like I said, logs that grow, hair that grows outside the log. And also I think that's due to having quite a lot of frizzy hair. Although frizzy hair can make your hair look fuller and I love, I don't have a problem with it. I've realized that all that frizzy hair, at some point I need to incorporate it inside the lock, not just because I don't want the frizzy look, because like I said, I don't mind, but that hair, that hair coming out, it weakens my locks. So I have to constantly use this tool. This tool is, it's, it's so important to me, as important as my toothbrush. I always have it around and I'm always using it. So with this, I'm just trying to say that although sister locks, it's, um, it's quite liberating in terms of not having to do so much to your hair constantly. It's also high maintenance, especially if you are a self, um, if you are a wire, you will have to, um, to always have an eye on all of your locks, you know, as single units instead of your whole head of locks. That's why I think being a DIY wire is quite good because probably when you go to your appointment with your locticians, she might not have time for that. And if you go every six weeks, within those six weeks, there are things that happen that you need to watch. You need to, to watch closely and you need to amend. Otherwise, uh, with time, it will become a problem. Yes. So um, also, I have quite... Um, noticeable growth rate uh, in my locks. There are many within my head that grow faster than others. So I might need to retight them before uh, the scheduled time. So that's why it's, um, when people say that they have the hand in her syndrome, 
to me, it's not a bad thing as long as you are not like twisting and doing nothing. But if you keep your hands on your hair, you know, you know what's going on. So I think it's, it's, it's a good thing in a way. Yeah, so myself, I wash my hair every, every couple of weeks. If I work out, obviously, I have to wash it um, more often, maybe once a week. And, uh, well, it's... Um, it's something, it is what it is. I think every time I get my hair retightened, as soon as I wash it, all my my frizzy hairs come out and I need to do the same procedure, which I which means that I'm constantly on my hair, you know. But I think um like I said, it's not a bad thing. It's it's good for you if you are self um maintainer and you maintain your own locks, you need to know what's going on because otherwise suddenly a a, a lock falls you lose a lock and you don't even know what's going on you don't know where it comes from but if you are always on your hair and you know what's you know the condition of all yeah most of your locks you will know okay this one is weak i need to have light an eye on it i need to repair it yes i also wanted to show you a length check i think it's time to start doing length checks uh so i've got my t-shirt that i got from amazon and i think i've got a picture of the first time i I did a length check, but I think it was ages ago and I never shared it. So I'm just going to show you what it is right now. Hope you can see. This is where my hair is right now. Hmm. It has grown quite a lot. It has grown quite a lot. I'm, I'm really proud. Anyway, so like I said, having a loctician or consultant that takes care of your hair is great. But I still think that everybody should know what's going on on their hair. And, you know, it's good practice to, to monitor your locks uh, within appointments and make sure that you've got your tools and you know how to use them so you can repair things and don't have to, to wait until your next appointment or even have to book a repair appointment because I know that's sometimes a problem for many of us. Anyways, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, just write them down below. And thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.